Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have some good news. We have a brand new pair of earbuds from Sennheiser, and these honestly are pretty different from most of their other earbuds out there. So typically, if you wanna buy a pair of Sennheiser earbuds, you might buy something like the Sennheiser Momentum 2s. And if you've seen them on my channel before, you'll know that these have been a long standing, standing champion for best sound quality and overall, one of the best pairs of premium wireless earbuds. But the drawback, is the price. These were coming out at around $300 plus, which means that for a lot of people, that's way out of range for what they're willing to spend on a pair of earbuds. And generally, if you wanted that kind of sound quality, you would have to spend a lot of money. But as we progress and we get better technology every year, things are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, and we're starting to see that price come down for good sound quality. So good sound quality is getting cheaper. And now even cheaper than that, we're looking at the brand new CX True Wireless earbuds, selling at just $130. And that's what they cost new. I guarantee in a couple months, they will be even cheaper. Black Friday sales, they always have some good sales on this. And for that reason, I'll put a link below, depending on when you're watching this, you can see the latest sale. But these earbuds right here, honestly, have a lot going for them. So you can think of it this way. If you were a company and you were going to make a pair of earbuds, you really have five categories to look at and a certain number of dollars you can spend to make that happen. The five categories are the microphone quality, the sound quality, the physical design, including the battery life and the aesthetics, you have the comfort, and of course you have uh, the software and the features. Now, if each of those five categories goes on a scale from zero to five, and you only have uh, maybe 12 poker chips, you definitely can't max out all of those. Instead, you have to kind of pick and choose. Some companies choose to just kind of make it balanced, some focus on one thing or another thing, and it really comes down to what are you looking to do with the earbuds? If you're looking to go for runs and do some sporty type stuff, then you might not care about sound quality or microphone quality. You might care a lot more about features and comfort and water resistance and stuff like that. And so getting back to this pair of earbuds right here, these are really geared towards sound quality. But the good thing is a couple of years ago, if you were going to face that same problem and design a pair of earbuds, you might only have say eight poker chips. Maybe last year you had 10 or 11, but now you might have like 12 or 13, which means that focusing on sound quality doesn't mean the same as it used to. No longer do you have to have a massive pair of earbuds with no water resistance and no, no features. Instead, you can really get a lot of the stuff that you want without compromising too much and then just put a little emphasis on the sound quality. And that's exactly what we did right here. So let's get into this, talking a little bit more about the physical design. These do have a water resistance rating, which is great. Great sound quality, great price and a water resistance rating is something that I really like to see. The case itself is not especially huge. It's actually smaller, as you can see, than the Momentum 2s, which is the premium model. But of course, it's not an especially exciting looking case. It has a magnetic closure, a little flip up top, and the earbuds themselves come in two different colors. You can get matte black or matte white, and honestly, a pretty plain, simple design. So aesthetics are pretty minimalist, not especially exciting, but as far as comfort goes, I found that these were, even though, even though they're very simple, surprisingly good. I found that if I'm going for a run, for the most part, they stay in my ears. If I'm doing push-ups, they stay in my ears. But I will say, if you're doing something more dynamic and if you're sweating a lot, so like burpees, for example, eventually there is a good chance that they'll work their way out of your ear because they don't have a little wing tip. But you know, for most people, these are not geared for working out. They just get the job done for working out. Really what they're geared for is sitting around listening to better quality music, whether that's at your desk or at home. And the comfort, the long-term comfort of these, I found was really good. I even fell asleep with them for an hour, woke up and had absolutely no discomfort at all. Overall, a really nice design, even though it's very simple, not the best looking design, but comfort and overall build of it is, is pretty decent. On the outside, we have a touchpad. This is customizable in the app, and I'll, I'll show you the app in a second. On the inside of the earbud, you'll see we have an indicator light and the charging nodes, but unfortunately, one of the compromises made was that these do not have auto play and auto pause. If you take them out of your ears, they will continue to play unless you pause it by tapping the outside or pausing on your phone. Now, looking at the outside, I wanna say that one thing about these earbuds, even though they're very large, it's not especially wasted space. In fact, you're looking at a nine hour battery life in the earbuds, 27 hours when you include the case, which for reference, the AirPods Pro without active noise cancellation last about five hours per earbud and about 24 hours with the case. So really a pretty good battery life here. And then lastly, you'll see on the outside, we do have a dual microphone setup here. So let's actually get into a microphone test now 
to see how they actually sound. This is a microphone sample indoors in a studio environment. One thing I want to point out is that there are different levels of side tone, which essentially means I can play different volumes of my voice back through the earbuds so I can hear myself talking so it sounds a little more natural and I don't end up yelling. But the side tone is not the best quality. For some reason, on the left bud in particular, it kind of sounds a little bit tinny. It sounds like it's almost peaking, uh, which is a little bit strange. But with that being said, let's go outside and see how the microphone sounds in a more noisy environment. Okay, so we're outside right now. There's some cars behind me. It's a little breezy out here. So leave a comment and let me know how the microphones sound to you. So remember how I said features were one of the five categories you could really focus on. And with these earbuds, at the price and at the what they've already done with a, a really good sound quality and a pretty decent design, you would expect features would be pretty poor. And historically, that's something Sennheiser really struggled with, was adding good features on their earbuds. And these, surprisingly, actually have some better features than their flagship model. In fact, on these earbuds, you're actually getting the newest Bluetooth 5.2, and with that, we're also getting mono mode, which is great. It means that you can listen to just one earbud at a time while the other one is in the case. And that's something that we could not do with the Momentum True Wireless 2s. Again, the flagship model, that is more than double the price. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, these do not have auto play and auto pause, so that's a feature that's missing. But if we take a look at the app here, this is the Sennheiser Sound Control app, you'll see that we do have quite a few features. So we have an equalizer we can adjust, and there are two different ways you can look at this. You can look at it through bars or kind of a little parametric equalizer here. We also have uh, some connections if you want to choose which device it's actually co connected to right now. Again, a really nice feature, so it makes it a little more easy to switch between different devices if they're all in the same room. And if we go up to settings on the top right, you'll see that we actually have even more features here as well. We can choose the codec we're using, auto power off, you can choose how long it's going to be until they turn off, which is nice because without auto play, auto pause, you could potentially leave them on a table and they could drain their battery playing music. Side tone is very useful if you're on a phone call where it plays back what you're hearing around you so you can hear your voice, you don't end up yelling on a call. And we can customize the controls on these earbuds, which again, is something I love that Sennheiser does. You're able to customize each individual press, the single, the double, the triple, or the press and hold. Again, something that we don't see on AirPods or, or really even Galaxy Buds are hard to customize. I love how we have that option here. What's missing here, however, is the option to have like a find my earbuds. Although I don't use that especially often, I wish that we did have this. It's something that we have on like the Momentum headphones, you know, they have a tile built into them that would be nice if Sennheiser added that at the very least to this case. I've mentioned more than a few times in this video that the sound quality is an emphasis for these earbuds. So let's actually dive into that and talk a little bit more about what it's actually like to listen to music with these earbuds. The first thing I wanna point out is that there are three different codecs. You can listen with SBC, AAC, which is what you'll use on an iPhone, or Aptex, which is what you can use on an Android if you want to have the highest resolution audio. Honestly, Aptex is something I really like to use. I'm a big fan of that. And so having that on here is, is really a big plus. Now, the sound quality itself, if you look at the box, it says bass boost on the bottom corner. And at first, I was a little bit worried that these were going to be imbalanced, that they'd have too much of a lift on the bass, as a lot of mid or low range uh, earbuds have. Like a lot of the cheaper earbuds, they kind of boost up the bass a lot. And these, I mean, obviously knowing Sennheiser, that is absolutely not the case. They still sound really natural, really balanced, very rich and warm. And the bass boost is an option you have in the EQ. And really, it is kind of a subtle bass boost and it gives you a little more bassy sound, makes it warmer if you're interested in that. But you could also just use the EQ uh, to remove that and, and still have a really nice, natural sounding pair of earbuds. I found that these, like I said, are very detailed, very crisp. Um, there is a little bit more warmth if you're comparing them to like the Momentum True Wireless 2s. I found that these definitely are substantially warmer, uh, but of course the EQ, like I said, could mitigate that. And I found that they are slightly less detailed or slightly less clear rather than the Momentum True Wireless 2s. But again, you're comparing these to something double the price. Comparing the Sennheiser Buds to other earbuds in their own price category, even the newer ones like the Pixel Buds A or the new Beats Buds, the Sennheiser earbuds are really in a league of their own. They're substantially better than, say, the Pixel Buds because the Sennheiser Buds, I found, are more rich, more natural, and more full sounding than the Pixel Buds A. And then comparing them to the new Beats Buds, I mean, they can still have plenty of bass on the Sennheiser Buds, but again, you're getting far more clarity and far more detail than something that's a little more bloaty like the Beats Buds. So really in conclusion for sound quality, I think you're really going to struggle to get anything sounding nearly as good as these for this price, which is good. We're starting to see great sound come to a lower price. 
Okay, so overall the CX True Wireless earbuds, in my opinion, are honestly a pretty big win for Sennheiser. I love how we're getting that great battery life on here, the mono mode, we're getting a water resistance rating, and we're getting that really low price without ever having to compromise on that signature Sennheiser sound quality. And I think that these are a pretty solid buy, but they're definitely not for everybody. You need to really think about what are the two places you'll be spending most of the time wearing the earbuds. For example, if you only wear earbuds when you go running, these will definitely get the job done, but they might not be the best pair for that. There's other pairs out there that have a better water resistance rating, more running oriented features, and maybe like wingtips, whereas these would be more geared towards anybody who is going to listen to music all day in an office or at home or anywhere you're just hanging out and you wanna to listen to good quality audio, this is going to be a fantastic buy. Of course, these don't have active noise cancellation, but the passive noise blocking honestly does a pretty decent job. So as long as you're not only wearing them on like an airplane, I don't think you'll be missing the active noise cancellation, and I really like these earbuds. But you can leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the CX True Wireless earbuds from Sennheiser, and if there's anything you wish these had or didn't have for this price. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.